How can these characters even afford these places? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 on-screen apartments we wish were ours. Well, there's a few places in the Richmond we haven't hit yet. I like the couch. The couch. Good couch. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at our favorite apartments from TV and movies. Number 10. Christian Grey's Apartment, 50 Shades of Grey Whether you love this franchise or hate it, you can't deny that the primary love interest has some pretty impressive digs. While Anna may live in unremarkable student housing, Christian's Seattle penthouse is something to be admired. As CEO of Gray Enterprises Holdings Incorporated, he clearly has a budget most people can only dream of. The view alone must be worth at least a billion bucks. The place is sleek, modern, and minimalist, and doesn't reveal the secrets of his dubious playroom at first glance. Oh my god. Number 9. Josh Baskin's Apartment, Big it's quite a unique space. The lines are so clean and you don't get any of that partition quality. It has 50-foot ceilings, uh, all hardwood floors, ample closet space, a modern kitchen, a brand new bathroom with a jet stream jacuzzi. We'll take it. In this classic 80s family comedy, Tom Hanks plays Josh Baskin a kid who becomes magically transformed into an adult after making a wish to a fortune teller machine. Of course, once he has all the privileges and capabilities grown-ups have, he goes all out when it comes time to decorate his NYC apartment. He fills it with everything you can imagine a 12-year-old would pick in lieu of standard decor. We're going to admit that even with a job at a toy company, Josh probably wouldn't have been able to afford this place, but we'll let it slide, since it's fantasy to begin with. You live here? Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Number 8. The Gang's Apartment. New Girl. We're going to suspend our disbelief again on this one, because we can only imagine how pricey it would be to rent this gorgeous loft in downtown Los Angeles. This place is beautiful. It gets so much light. Jess, Nick, Schmidt, and Winston all live in this four-bedroom apartment with an open floor plan and exposed brick walls. The decor is masculine and cozy, lending itself to intense games of true American. The exterior shots of the building are taken at the Binford Building in the Arts District of LA, though the interior shots are done on a soundstage. Number 7. Theodore Twombly's Apartment. Her. The focus of this futuristic sci-fi flick may not have been the interior design, but the version of Los Angeles imagined by the filmmakers was impeccably conceived. Theodore's apartment in particular is an interesting imagining of what urban dwellings will look like in the near future, featuring extreme minimalism paired with a mid-century modern aesthetic. The floor-to-ceiling windows let the entire space be flooded with light. Production designer K.K. Barrett and set decorator Jean Serdina would eventually be nominated for an Academy Award for their stunning work on her. Number 6. Amélie Poulain's Apartment. Amélie. Of course, the enigmatic lead of this whimsical French film would have an apartment to match her personality. Amélie Poulain's Parisian apartment puts all of the characters' lovable quirks on display. It would take days to uncover all of the secrets of this idiosyncratic home, but her bedroom is the real showstopper, with red wallpaper and eccentric paintings adorning the room, including one with a dog wearing a cone on its head. If you want to recreate the look, the dog painting is available as a print on art.com. Number 5. Holly Golightly's Apartment – Breakfast at Tiffany's While the most memorable takeaway from this 1961 romantic comedy might be the leading lady's classically elegant wardrobe, it would be a crime to forget her Upper East Side apartment. Well, this uh, nice little place you've got here. You just moved in too, huh? I've been here about a year. The exterior of Holly's building was filmed at East 71st Street in New York, and while the interior may have been a set, it's a set we'd move into in a second. The apartment's decor is just as carefree and irreverent as its tenant, pairing modish furniture with vintage pieces for a truly eclectic mix. 
Number 4. Monica Geller's Apartment – Friends this creative and colorful home is the centerpiece of Friends, with many of the show's best moments taking place within its walls. Has it always been purple? <laughs> the Greenwich Village apartment is technically rented by Monica and Ross's grandmother, which explains how any of the gang can afford to live in it. This was your first home, and it was a happy place, filled with love and laughter. But more important, because of rent control, it was a friggin' steal. <laughs> the decor is over the top and even a little gaudy at times, but the overall result is cozy and homey. Fun fact, all of the friends have actually lived in this apartment at one point or another throughout the series, including Ross. Uh, I haven't. <laughs> Wait a minute, what about that summer during college that you lived with Grandma and you tried to make it as a dancer? <laughs> Number 3. Mindy Lahiri's Apartment – The Mindy Project As far as dream apartments for women living on their own in Manhattan go, you can't get much better than this one. When I first moved here, I hated it. Thought it was haunted. Turns out, it was actually the whistle that my nose made while I slept. Mindy Lahiri's bright and colorful space is decorated in a way that you can only get away with if you're not living with a dude. It's unabashedly feminine, with pops of pink scattered throughout. If you look closely, you'll see plenty of photos of Mindy on display. Most of them are real shots from the actress Mindy Kaling's past. While Danny's industrial, lost-style apartment is also enviable, we'd choose Mindy's original place any day. Number 2. Blair Waldorf's Apartment – Gossip Girl The Waldorf Family Penthouse, which can be found at 1136 Fifth Avenue, is just about as beautiful as it is unattainable. Those floors, that staircase. They have a private elevator that opens right into their entryway, for God's sake. Imagine my surprise when the elevator door opened and out popped both of them. The decor is totally opulent and over the top, which is fitting for its high society residence. Blair's private spaces like her blue-hued bedroom and walk-in closet are the things of adolescent dreams. While there are many other cool spaces on Gossip Girl, this one really takes the cake. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Megan, where are you? Oh, you're home. And you walk across the foyer. You hang the dry cleaning in the closet across from the staircase. Right. Welcome to the Chateau Chemali. Mm. Nice. Number 1. Carrie Bradshaw's Apartment – Sex in the City Finding the perfect apartment in New York City is like finding the perfect partner. It can take years. While it may not be as extravagant as some of the other entries on our list, there's something in the sweet simplicity of this on-screen apartment that puts it a step above the rest. While the apartment she looks at with Mr. Big in the first movie is breathtaking, Carrie's place from the original series still has our hearts. Carrie's one-bedroom space in Manhattan is perfect in its classic, understated decor with slightly feminine touches. The best part, hands down, is the walkthrough closet leading into the bathroom. We totally get why you would need both doors. What do you need two doors for? Well, because you know sometimes I'm in a hurry and it's just quicker to go bing, out that one and... It's my escape route in case. In case what? In case rapists come in my bedroom window, I see them in the mirror, and then boom, I'm gone. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.